Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, course schedule 2. There are a total of n courses you have to take, labeled from 0 to n-1. Some courses may have prerequisites. For example, to take course 0, you have to first take course 1, which is expressed as a pair 0, 1. Given the total number of courses and a list of prerequisite pairs, return the ordering of courses you should take to finish all the courses. There may be multiple correct orders, you just need to return one of them. If it is possible to finish all the courses, return an empty array. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. So before moving to the example for the given problem, let us first discuss about a topic in graph theory that is topological sorting. So the definition of topological sorting is mentioned over here. Topological sorting for a directed acyclic graph is a linear ordering of vertices such that for every directed edge u, v, vertex u comes before v in the ordering. Topological sort for a graph is not possible if the graph is not a deck. So this question is nothing but an application of topological sorting. So first, let us consider the example given to us. So in this example, we have uh, one which is a dependency on zero course, then two has a dependency on zero and so on. So first, let us create a graph out of it. So we have uh, four courses over here. So we have zero, we have one, we have two and we have three. Now we have 1 comma 0 which represents that 1 has a dependency on 0. So we create a directed edge from 0 to 1. See the edges are in the reverse direction. Why is it? Because 1 has a dependency on 0 that is we have to finish 0 first and then we have to come to first. Similarly for uh, this we have 0 2 then we will have 1 3 and we will have 2 3. So if you see the edges over here are 0 to 1 then 0 to 2 then 1 2 3 and 2 2 3 now let us consider this ordering 0 1 2 3 so if you see 0 1 2 3 so according to the definition of topological sorting for every directed edge u comma v u should come before v in the ordering right so if you see for this ordering this is the ordering let us consider all the edges so we have 0 to 1 so you can see that 0 is coming before 1 for 0 to 0 is coming before 2 for 1 2 3 1 is coming before 3 for 2 2 3 2 is coming before 3 so actually this ordering is nothing but the topological sort for the current graph so the question is now reduced to so to find the topological sorting for the current graph now it is also given that topological sorting for a graph is not possible if the graph is not a DAG what is DAG? DAG is directed acyclic graph so consider so this graph is uh, directed only and it should not have a cycle why it should not have a cycle? So let us consider the, that example as well. So let me just clear the screen first. So let us consider a simple graph. We have 0, we have 1 and we have 2. So if you see over here, we have a cycle 0, 1, 2. Correct. So over here, the edges are 0, 1, then 1, 2, then 2, 0. Now, According to the definition of topological sort, for every edge u, comma v, we sh you should come before v. So we want 0 to come before 1, 1 to come before 2, and 2 to come before 0. Actually, this is not possible because this is a cyclic ordering. So if 0 comes before 1, 1 comes before 2, how can 2 comes before 0? It is not possible, right? So in this case, we have to return an empty array, correct? So now let us see how we can find the topological sorting for a given graph. So over here, we are given this graph and we have to maintain a stack as well as a visited array in order to find a topological sort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a simple DFS to find a topological sort. So let me just write a part of the code. So we will simply iterate over all the vertices. With vertices, I mean the courses. So we will have for int i equals 0, i less than number of courses n, i plus plus. And here we will check in case visited of i is false. So in case this is false, we'll simply call DFS for the ith vertex, correct? So let's uh, go through this thing over this example. So first we will be, we'll be having i equals zero. And since visited of i is false, we'll call DFS for this vertex. So we will be over here, correct? Now, first of all, when you are visiting a vertex, you will you'll simply visit this as true. So we'll simply make mark it as true. Now we will have two adjacent edges, that is uh, two vertex 1 and 2 vertex 2 and both of them are not visited so we can visit any of them so let us suppose we go over here in the recursion now first of all you will visit this vertex so you will mark this as true and you will check for any adjacent vertex which is not visited so of course we will have 2 over here so we will move 2 over here we will mark 2 as visited as true and from here you can see that 2 is completely explored 
correct you cannot move anywhere so actually what you will do is you will be back in the recursion and before moving back in the recursion you will simply add two in the stack so we'll be back in the recursion so we'll be over here from one you you can see that uh, it doesn't have any adjacent vertex which is not visited as true correct that is visited as false so you will be marking this vertex in this stack and you will be back in the recursion so for zero you had edge for one and two and both of them are visited so you will be out of this uh, recursion over here so you will go outside and basically you will uh, before going outside you will simply mark this vertex in the stack or th add this vertex to the stack so once this is done we will be back in this recursion over here so now i will move to one so since i equals for i equals one visited of i is true we will simply uh, increment i by one so it will be two so again two is also visited so we'll mark so we'll move to three now for three you can check that the visitor of i is false so we'll call the dfs for this vertex so we'll start from here so first of all we will visit the current vertex that is we will mark this as true now from three i we can either move to one or we can either move to four now one is already visited you can see that this is visited as true so we'll only move to four and once you are over here you will first of all mark this as true now from 4 we cannot go anywhere so we will be back in the recursion and before moving back in the recursion we will simply push 4 over the stack so we will be back in the recursion so again from 3 we do not have any way so we will be back in the recursion and before moving back in the recursion we will simply add 3 over here now if you just uh, uh, so if we have this thing in this stack so if you consider this ordering 3 4 0 1 2 that is the reverse of the stack this is actually the topological sort you can actually cross check as well so we have uh, edges like uh, 0 1 we have 1 2 then we have 0 2 then we have 3 1 and we have 3 4 so consider 0 1 so 0 is coming before 1 correct for 1 2 1 is coming before 2 correct for 0 2 we have 0 before 2 for 3 1 we have 3 before 1 and for 3 4 we have 3 before 4 so yes this is the topological sorting so now let us uh, move to the code and then things will be more clear. So we are maintaining an array of array list of integer which is nothing but the agency list representation of a graph. Over, the, over here we have two boolean arrays visited and explored. So we will use this explode array in order to find the cycle in the graph. So we have stack of integer as well. Now over here we are initializing the graph and we are simply adding edges to the current graph. Now over here we are initializing the explode and the visited array as well and we are checking for the cycle. So in case the graph consists of cycle so we will simply return an empty array because in case the graph is consisting of cycle topological sorting is not possible so over here we have a method called as is cyclic as well so in case you have doubts about this method so i have a specific video to check how to check cycle in a directed graph so i'll just link down that video in the description section and you can just go through that video in case you have doubts about this method so after this is done so in case our graph doesn't consist of cycle we will simply initialize the visited array and the stack and we will simply call the topological sorting so this is what we have discussed in the video before so in the topological sorting we are doing nothing we are simply calling uh, means this is a simple dfs only so once the uh, once we perform the dfs we are simply putting or pushing the current vertex to the stack so after this is done we know that uh, the result is in the reverse direction for this stack so we will simply pop from this stack and we will add it to the result and we will simply return the result over here so let me submit this code once and you can see it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel thank you